whether it's been on the football field, the cross country team, or in volleyball, the school has seen a staggering amount of state championships go its way. I'd like to welcome, before we turn to the back to the studio, head coach Leanna Taylor, also Alex Johnson and Tina Katnack. First of all, ladies, uh, congratulations on, on this. Eight times in ten years, uh, you're going to get old, doesn't it? This is not get old, trust me. <laughs> it's a great feeling. Is this one any different than the first? Well, it, just, it, it just symbolizes the hard work that's going on in our gym. And uh, so just to bring this trophy back into our gym and line it up with the others, it just symbolizes that we are doing something right here at school. Beginning of the season, Alex, is uh, something that uh, you want to forget about. You were injured. Uh, the team got off to a, a bit of a slow start. How, how tough is that? How difficult is that to overcome? Um, well, I've never actually been injured like that before. And it was definitely a new experience for me to sit on the side and, you know, watch my team struggle at some points. And it was really, really difficult. And I didn't think that I'd be able to overcome it like I did. And um, the whole team was there for me the whole time. And it was really, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I know you're happy right now. Tina. Um, you think about uh, the history and everything that Plant has meant. Um, you don't want to be the team that actually loses one now. Right? And, and now you guys are, are right there with everybody as well. With five as well. Yeah, everyone always asks us that question. You know, you don't want to be the team that like loses after you know four years in a row. And we just wanted to win. We wanted to win this one for ourselves and for Coach. And it was just about the team this year, not about the past or the future. It's about right now. And looking at the, the final match right here, you played blue during the regular season. Now, did, was that a little sense of comfort going in, knowing that, okay, we know what they have, we know what their weapons are, we know their weaknesses, that sort of thing? It was good to have played them before, but it was also not maybe an advantage because um, they knew what we had, so we were a little nervous, like, they're probably prepared for us, but I think that we came in and played our best. And, uh, yeah, exactly. It's nice to have that. Alex, uh, in, in terms of... Um, what this team means as, as a total team. The last year, you've got the All-Americans. You've got you know the Manny Martins of the world and people like that. Do you feel this is a, a little bit different animal for these, this group of girls? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we came in as, like, not necessarily underdogs, but people don't believe in us as much as we, you know, want it to be believed in. And I think that with the loss of all those players, people assume that we would, you know, get them all this year. And I think that we showed everyone. That's what made the team so strong and connected is that we all had that commonality of wanting to win and prove to the people that we can. That being said, how different was the coaching job for you this year? It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the opportunity. In years past, it was it was, it was phenomenal as well. And, and I knew I was in a situation that could have been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but I definitely enjoy preparing and taking care of details and uh, just having so much fun coaching and, and just uh, loving that these girls were just ready to prove and, and uh, just really took put some fire out there. It was nice. Well, congratulations on everything. I, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Maybe we'll do this again next week. Hey, I'm six. ready. I'm ready. Nice. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, that'll do it for this week's show. We hope you enjoyed it because there's a lot more where this came from. So this week's show brought to you by the Rotary Club of New Tampa Evening, the newest Rotary Club in District 6890. Join them every Thursday at Hunter's Green Country Club. Don't forget, check out that website. Keep those emails and video questions coming, www.tampabayprepsports.com. We want you to be a part of this as well. Until next time, kids. Yay! <laughs> well done. so much for female sports. It's awesome.